What up? What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, GS, and welcome to another edition to the A2Z series. Today, we are on Le Coats. And if you guys seen the last video with the Chiefs, you guys see that I mentioned that I went up against somebody who literally called wide trail and inside zone every like almost every play this is the game here this is the one right here and uh this something about this run that i noticed more and more people doing it's a little glitchy it's a little glitchy so the inside zone they, he just bounced it straight outside like straight outside like not even the run is designed to go straight up the middle but uh he just bounces it straight outside like with no issue and then right there i decide to pursue outside and he takes it up the middle and just gashes me and i'm like wow okay okay we, we got to shut that down and then we dropped the pick on the wide trail right there and then he decides to do it again but this time we uh we decided to make adjustments that we're going to stop that right there Woo! don't test that user he is so disrespectful though huge interception bias right there uh woo! he jumped the hell out that route but just didn't hold why i guess that should have easily been an interception but hey thankfully uh he wasn't trying to catch it i guess i don't i don't know uh we got a little lucky right there he calls a lot of man to man and uh, obviously you know corner routes c routes anything uh should be able to beat that but uh, sometimes something like that happens where i just got no animation i mean not no animation no separation excuse me and he ends up uh just jumping the route uh so what my um adjustment was to stop i mean come on demarco to stop that was i was calling edge thing but i flipped it so I can go on another one, another interception right there. We just hawk the middle. You know, edge thing is that very right here. I had the the flats wide open, but I didn't think that I was gonna throw a pick like that uh, of the cornerback just jumping that route, which he did. Another route jump by uh, by his defense right there. So oh uh, yeah, so it's calling edge thing. You guys know that that natural beautiful a gap, but I flipped it on the other side so um, that cornerback could prevent. I mean, the running back would prevent him from crashing the outside and i would try to manually watch the middle um another user interception by us he's just you know all his routes are just thrown over the middle uh right there oh we got lucky right there um and we need to score i can't run the ball though i haven't had some, that right there was actually really good uses by him but thankfully he dove just a little prematurely we got something out of nothing right there um every time i try running the ball i just got nothing right there just throw off our back foot thankfully Again, he clicked on and messed it up. I'm pretty sure the computer probably would have snagged that. First of all, we go to a screen, and of course, it's unsuccessful. And uh, you see me trying to waste clock. You know, uh, if I don't score, I don't want him to get too much time. Try to take off, and we get block shed as soon as we do that. Uh, we decide a little, you know, just try a wildcat. I was going to settle for a field goal. Um, just try a little wildcat, see if we can get lucky. And uh, we did not, but we do end up scoring, going up 3-0. And hopefully, we can get ourselves another stop right here and uh, head into half this way. So, uh, he still continues to run the ball right there with the inside zone. And he's absolutely just... Uh, destroying us until we made that adjustment putting that guy on the outside to prevent him from uh, running that way uh but like i said i faced that run before i faced that run before with other uh other folks and something about that run where they just able they have the option to take it outside or bounce it up the middle and uh it, it's it's been uh very effective uh, against me you know it just so happens that this guy he's not mixing it up at all he's literally going in that same formation calling the same play over and over and over so i knew it was coming um we could really use a touchdown right here go up two possessions uh finally finally we get some positive yards on a run play right there get a good gain of eight to nine yards right there we definitely needed that because we're struggling running the ball as you see we already got that two clock on man when i have ball plus the lead i'm gonna go on ahead and try and take as much time as possible so we go back to the toss right here and then we get another one another eight nine yard gain right there try to go up the middle oh one trap and absolutely nothing third and one i believe he was off size but we pick up the first down regardless and here we go with the fake h the fake fullback dive hp toss that loses us a gain of four quick uh post route right there picking up close to a first down big play right there we decided to go for qb sneak and we waste the entire third quarter so that right there was was perfect but uh we got to be able to end this uh this uh it, to a touchdown we go back to the wildcat and the wildcat got loose the wildcat got loose as we end up scoring right there not yet not yet wait there's more we don't score actually i, I get down on the one 
so I could waste more time. We end up scoring anyway. So uh, not only do we still get the same result as if we would have scored, we took an additional 40 seconds off the clock, which is definitely uh, a very good thing, especially in my situation where your defense is, is as bad as mine. So he's still continuing to call the exact same play, not switching it up whatsoever, inside zone or wide trail. There he goes again with the inside zone. This time he bounces it up the middle. And DeMarco Murray is so tough to get down on the very first uh, contact. Like, this man absolutely does such an amazing job of pushing forward and breaking the first tackle. Um, it's it's so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Uh, right there, we end up getting the sack right there. Second and forever, we're offside. He has a free play. Throws over the top, incomplete. But, you know, as, like I said, it was offside. So, inside, to go back to it again, double covered. Double covered doesn't even matter. Sam Bradford is out here completing passes like a boss. And that happened. I don't know, you got to be kidding me. Like, you, 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 did that really just happen? So, third and 10 right here. Nice little pass over the middle. Should have been my responsibility. You know, like I said, he's calling the same plays. I should know that's where he's going to go. It's either to the running back or the tight end slanting over the middle. And I was just nowhere to be found. So, he's still in this game right here. He has all three of his timeouts. We are going to need uh, some big plays. And speaking of big plays, T.Y. Hilton does an amazing job of putting us almost in field goal range right here. Uh, a field goal doesn't put him away because it's still uh, a one possession lead. But um, just to be able to score would be good. Just put any type on any points on the board. He's not calling any of his timeouts. We go back to the Wildcat right here. Juke for the inside. And we're going to end up picking up the first down. And we're just going to take some knees and win the game. So that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Back-to-back -back wins, man. Hopefully we can go on ahead and keep the winning streak going. Um, struggled on offense, but a victory is a victory.